Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I have the steampunk design acrylic nails. Um, so I've already primed and prepped all the nails and gone in with um, a clear layer of acrylic. So here I'm coming in with um, some birthday suit and just doing a smile line. Sort of, I don't know, it's sort of like, I've sort of tried to do the same shape as the nail, so like a sort of coffin sort of nail bed. Um, so I'm just uh, smoothing out the edges with the, the brush and I'll come back in and file it later. The actual smile line was much better on the other hand than, than it was on this hand. Um, so I'll just let you watch this bit. Onto the pinky, I'm coming in with Glam and Glitz Black Lace. Um, this nail will be a glitter fade. Um, so I'm just placing the bead at the cuticle and dragging that down the nail, and then I'll come in at the tip and stick on the gold glitter and fade that back. Now, this glitter doesn't actually have a name, it was just a bag with no name on it. Um, however, it did have some colourful butterflies in it, so I removed the butterflies and just used the uh, the gold glitter from from the bag Onto the middle finger and here I'm just doing a full nail of that black lace. I'm doing the fade again but it's just a fade with the black lace there, there's no colour at the end sort of like a glass nail but not because the I've sort of faded down the black so it sort of like blends in and it's, it's like sort of like a greyish to clear sort of colour at the tip I hope to god you know what I'm talking about but you can see um, in the video here that it's not completely clear because I have dragged the black right the way down so onto the thumb and the thumb is the exact same as the pinky so black lace at the cuticle and drag that down and then the gold glitter will be at the top and I'll fade that back over the black
back onto the middle finger and I filed that smile line in and now I'm just coming in with the black lace and filling in the tip area with that. I don't worry here about going over the smile line with the black and um, because I will just file that off. It's just to make sure that I don't miss any gaps with the black um, when I'm fi filling in around the smile line. back onto the middle finger and I'm just going to put a thin clear wash of um, the clear acrylic down. I'm going to come in with these little cog pieces. Um, these little pieces I got from eBay and they're quite fiddly and they're quite thick as well. Like They're thicker than what I thought they were going to be. Um, obviously they don't bend either so um, I just place these um, down that middle nail um, I didn't have any specific design, I was just sort of placing them anywhere, really anywhere that they would fit so that they didn't stick up too much. Um, it wasn't so bad after they were capped and I didn't actually file into them like I thought I might have done. Um, so that was alright. So I was just going to put a thin clear layer of the clear, why do I keep saying a clear layer? Obviously it's clear um, over them to, to keep them in place. Um, onto the pointer finger and the same again just over the clearer part of the tip I'm popping on um, some more of those little cogs and clear acrylic just to keep them in place there. I can't remember which other finger. Okay so I've filed the black off that nail bed there and I'm just popping some more of those little cogs just on the end um, of that tip area there. Ah, and then I'm going to come in with some glitter and fill in some of the black around that smile line. I'm sorry if you can hear the kids outside. Um, the schools have just finished so all the kids are walking past the house just now. So I've capped and filed all the nails and now I'm just coming in with the top coat. I'll cure the nails for 60 seconds, pop on some cuticle oil and that's the nails finished. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already I'd love it if you would subscribe and I've left a little clip at the end for you and some photos as well. So thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video.